Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate that I'm uh, I'm not pulling your leg guys or anything uh, <clears throat> I'm just show you at least one ball that it's it's actually 90 foot-pounds that I torqued it um, How did I arrive to that 90 foot-pounds? Uh, I basically uh, on my other car I started from uh, 40 pounds uh, so 40 foot pounds and I kept going up and up and up uh, until I got the, the torque wrench to click so that was around 85 pounds and I thought well I'll just add a little bit more so I decided to set it to 90 foot pounds I don't know we'll see how well it works uh, the other car I think I have about um, two weeks since I've done that um, so uh, we'll see how it goes so now I'm just going to demonstrate that uh, my wrench you can see here 90 says right here uh, if I can focus so 90 foot pounds and I put my bit and I'm gonna torque probably the front one because that was the one that this bolt was the loosest and uh, <clears throat> I did have an oil leak and a front right corner it might have been a combination of the gasket same, uh, and maybe the bolt but just to show you so you hear the click 90 foot pounds Now, since I already have it all torqued, it's not a big deal if I'm not following the pattern, I think, because I'm just checking that all the bolts are torqued. So like I said, the two bolts in the back are a little bit problematic. This one I can still get to it. And that's the one on the bottom, but I mean the one on the right hand side. The one on the left hand side is uh, this stack is too high so it's it's hitting the the firewall so um, I just used the torque um, like a breaker bar which is longer and just made sure that it's tight so here you go guys um, you can use this method I guess if you have a small oil leak and you just want to delay your head gasket replacement or you might be even lucky that uh, just retorquing the bolts and you won't need to do your head gasket.